I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for meditation if we say it traditionally and if we ask the question is it for everybody the answer is yes everybody means for every human being why are we not seeking permanent happiness and peace and love and truth and wisdom in our life if every human being if any human being does not want permanent happiness, then you say, okay, no problem, you leave meditation. So do I need harmony in my life, peace in my life, happiness in my life? And I want a continuity of it. I want a creativity in my life based on the peace and happiness that is coming from inside. Then meditation is for everybody. So we should not bind this meditation in a tradition, in some cult, in some religion, because it has nothing to do with it. So now coming to the today's topic is I have been requesting and pleading that please go through the first two or three uh sessions that we have covered and we are discussing about practice what exactly is practice in meditation so we covered i think we covered uh, four formulas first we said abhyas viragya bhyam tannirodha keep smile on the face you know we need not to Think, you know, be serious too much. Meditation is a joy. So, yes, the young guy has come. So, so what is first, uh, we have understood the regular practice with wisdom is the method. So there are two words used, the regular practice according to this great master and wisdom. That leads to dispassion. In the second sutra, he explained what exactly is the practice. Practice means steadiness of the mind deep within. Steadiness of the mind deep within. How many times you forget if you are a man, you forget that you are not? If you are a woman, you always remember, you never forget. Isn't it? Do we forget? No. So the mind is steady on the quality of being a human being. So same way if the mind remains steady within, that is the first step then that kind of a steadiness of the mind comes to, in our life. That is the third sutra, perhaps that we covered last week. Regularity, continuity, commitment, and deep interest. The mind should be deeply interested. For what? Not for me, not for but for the wisdom, the knowledge. What is that knowledge? That if I do the practice, I will enter into permanent peace and happiness. Simple. Now the fourth sutra under this category is known as dispassion. So we started with practice with wisdom. So now comes the wisdom. What kind of a wisdom we need to succeed in any meditation, in any meditation. So he says, dispassion, drashta anushravik vishaya vitrashnasya vashikar sangya vairagyam. You know, the literal translation 
of this wisdom that leads to renunciation. So now if you hear the word renunciation, you say, no, I will not join the class from next week. So let us understand first what exactly is this renunciation. So that renunciation is pleasure. So let if I literally translate this sutra, the this passion is perfected when the seeker stops craving for the objects experienced by the mind or the impressions it is present in the mind. I have one impression. For example, I'm giving an example, you know. I have an imp impression stored in my mind of marijuana. So that continues to trigger my mind. And the mind goes through the sense organs. <laughs> Sam is smiling. <laughs> I should give a current example. <laughs> so that will make it sense. <laughs> So what is going to happen when you wake up in the morning? You are fresh, you are calm, and the mind says, where is marijuana? <laughs> so that is craving. <laughs> you can take any example. <laughs> yeah? So now we should examine this formula clearly, my friend. Examine if any object contains pleasure. There is no pleasure that is present in any object. Marijuana, the same example, does not come to you and say to you, come on, have me. Please taste me. I have a lot of pleasure. Does it say to you? So when you start thinking in this way, <laughs> then the mind will start dissolving the craving. You can apply this for to anyone. Clear? First examine. There is no pleasure that is present in any object. Clear? Any object that does not come to us and declare, come on, have a pleasure with me. Clear? Third, we keep object on our inside our head and claim it is full of pleasure. Do you understand that point? We keep that object in our head. But how to keep that object in a head? If I'm your enemy, will you keep me in your head? No, throw it away. So it means mind first creates a liking for that object. And that liking is repeated. And that I keep it myself in the head that object. If the object is chasing us and we are chasing them, ask it. Any object. Same example. Marijuana or any kind of a pleasure. We hold on to an object and claim object is holding us. This is ignorance. This ignorance must go to help the mind to live in dispassion. So, Lara, it has nothing to do with the renunciation does not mean leave everything, suppress, control, nothing to do with the control, suppression, repression, you know, that we use in modern psychology. Clear. Now, you know, I told you before also, the language of the Sanskrit has nothing to do with cult, dogma, belief, and religion. The Sanskrit language is for the self-discovery. Every word is used to convey the essence of 